One of the biggest barriers to journaling is just getting started. If you feel like you don't know what to write about, this might help. For me, setting up the scene in which I journal is important. The process of doing so prepares me to focus on being present. Lighting a candle engages my sense of sight and smell, and having a hot drink taste. This all adds to the physical sense of touch when I put pen to paper and journal. These extra steps remind me that I don't need to rush me time, and it also sets a boundary for others. Nine times out of ten, unless it's very important, my husband won't talk to me once he sees me set that scene and begin to write. I, on the other hand, value setting a specific time to write. I like to end my day in thought and wake up in the morning and expand upon what I started. Though I don't limit myself to only writing at these times, I very much enjoy bookending my days this way. My mind can feel full, like a catalog of thoughts and emotions for the entire week, or even a day that felt like a week, especially now. Having the anchoring point of writing about my senses or taking time to acknowledge them frees me to let the writing flow. Typically, this leads to one thought, and then another, and so on. And as random as these things may seem, they are often very connected. I may not see the connection then, but sometimes I will when I return to it later. Your journal doesn't need to be a collection of grand schemes and noteworthy quotes. You can simply write about your day or what you did the day prior. Reflecting on your day is great for mental clarity and having a reference point. You can go back and look at these things that you did and have great perspective on where you've been in the past. So another great technique to work on is called the miracle question. And this is often used in counseling. So if you were to wake up the next morning and it was almost like a magic wand was wave, what would that look like? What would have changed? Um, this helps to give you a lot of perspective to see what things in your life already kind of fit that and how that may have changed over time. So for me currently, being healthy is one of my top priorities. Where if I answered this question even a few months ago, maybe owning a house or paying off my student loans would have been the top priority. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video to be helpful and insightful. We started this YouTube channel because of the great feedback we got from our last video, dealing with isolation. And if you like this one, please feel free to subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it with others. And we'll be making more content like this one.